What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Bernie, Texas, and we are gonna take a look at this beautiful Volano from Van Lee. Now you guys probably know that I've been doing a long-term evaluation on a Van Lee Beacon, which is their highest end model of fifth wheel. And the Volano is, I don't wanna say a step below it, but it is a step below it in terms of overall package amenities and things like that. So I want to show you the differences between a Beacon and a Volano. So we're going to tour this Volano, which is absolutely gorgeous. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right. So before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this Volano. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,500 pounds and it has a cargo capacity of 3,505 pounds. It rides on dual 8,000 pound axles. So this is a big boy and 17.5 inch wheels and tires. Up front it has the Trail Air Rotaflex pin box from LCI. Rubber bushing right here. This rotates to help control and dampen some of the chucking and some of that motion from the trailer to the truck when you're towing it. Up front, you can get this equipped with a generator. This specific one does not. And it has dual battery boxes, which is nice. And to be honest with you, the wiring and everything's actually pretty clean in this unit. A lot of them, you just see it everywhere, but they've actually gone through some effort here to clean it up a bit, which is nice. Your auto leveling controls are up here. The front slide is a Schwintec slide. Over here. You have a 30 pound propane can. This can easily fit a 40 pound tank though. Well, I think it can. Yeah, if you rotate it over slightly just so it doesn't make contact right here, but I think you could easily fit a 40 pound can inside of here. Nice thick doors. One thing I've noticed with the Beacon that I've reviewed and almost every Van Lee I've been through is the fit and finish when it comes to things opening and closing is really nice. The tolerances are really nice. Nice drop frame gives you a tremendous amount of storage up here. And then this is going to be a dedicated spot for your water connections. Really nice. That is actually super cool. So they put your water pump right here, which means if you have to service it for any reason, it's literally right in front of you. That is really, really thoughtful. It might look like it clutters this area up a little bit, but that is actually brilliant. First one I've ever seen that does that. Water filter right here. You have your sewer connection right here and something worth noting is again this is all aluminum if you recall seeing some of my other videos but they are electric gate valves down here so you don't have those handles that you typically pull I've really grown to like that about the beacon we have the challenge is you have to remember what direction the button needs to go in order to have the gate open or close because it's not it's not as intuitive as you might think when you have the pull handles your water heater outside of your furnace the beacon we have has the Truma AquaGo system, so it has the on-demand hot water, whereas this one has the standard water heater. It may be an option, though, to get a Truma on here. I'm not 100% certain. You have a 12-inch I-beam frame and a 10-inch drop beam. This is the setup that I can really appreciate. Nice size rack and pinion slide mechanism. Coming back here. Here are your 17 and a half inch J rated tires. You heard me right, these are J load range tires. 8,000 pound axles. You have your road armor suspension under here as well. You have another slide back here that has a Schwintec slide mechanism. And like the Beacon, you have these really cool storage areas back here. A lot of storage running down the side of this unit on both sides and you have these really nice doors on both sides. Again, very solid feel to everything. Your electric cord reel here in the back. I think they were showing it to someone so they had the cord out. And just like the beacon we have, you have this huge, huge storage tray back here. And we have absolutely grown to love it in ours. It's just phenomenal. You can easily load a ton of stuff. I mean, I think I put three mountain bikes in the back of it, or two mountain bikes and my daughter's bike in the back of it easily. And the tray, of course, comes out. Check that out. That is just super cool. All LED lighting, and it does have a ladder to get you on top. Just, you hear that, right? Just solid thud. You don't have to worry about trying to force it back in, which is really cool. Ladder to get up top, all LED lighting again, wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. 
Coming around this side, this is the other two storage hatches on the side of the unit. You have your flip out steps here, which are on the back of this slide. So typically your entrance is gonna be in this area. And in this case, it's in the back. Let's look inside here. Again, nice thick baggage doors. Check this out. Tons and tons and tons of storage in here. You have your power kill switch up front here. A lot of space in this unit. Love that. Okay, let's step inside of this brand new 2021 Van Lee Volano 394RK. So this has an MSRP real quick of $120,000 and change. Actual sale price on a unit like this, I'm not 100% certain, but I can guarantee it's going to be much lower than that. But you'd have to call them to find out. They don't have it posted on here. So check this out. So they've done a lot of really interesting things in terms of color tone. They've mixed this color with a lot of lighter tones, which is really interesting because I'm not a fan of this color, but the way it kind of contrasts with the white looks pretty nice. And I believe that's the white linen that we have in our beacon that we're reviewing from them. But I still kind of prefer a more neutral or darker tone here. This is a little bit too traditional for me. So this is a rear kitchen unit. Let's step up here, but before we do that, this is the spider control system. So you turn all your lights on, you know, retract, put out your slides, control your AC unit, everything with this. Stepping up, really, really nice kitchen area. Tons and tons of countertop and cabinet space. Check this out. This is just one big seating area. This is like a dinette, which is really awesome. You could easily fit three people across it. Lots of space right here, more cabinets and drawers. And just like on the higher end beacon, slow closing. Really nice upgraded Insignia gas cooktop. Nice Furion full-size microwave. Great pantry space. And there's just storage space everywhere. And just look how nice it is. Plus you still get these cable stops to keep things from hitting. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. So that's just something to keep in mind. You have drawers everywhere, and also they're all slow closing. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Cabinets everywhere. You even get your soft touch padded ceiling on the Volano that you saw on the Beacon. So in some cases, some folks say, well, you know, I like the Beacon, it's just too expensive. Can I get something a little bit more affordable? The Volano, right? You just don't get the full body paint on the outside. Really, really nice area up here has a relatively compact island. Interesting. They do give you this pretty cool pots and pan drawer down here, which is really nice. Nice little cabinet there. And that does close all the way. I just didn't push it shut. Right here, more storage, more drawers, more place for a coffee station. I really appreciate that. Has a beautiful LG refrigerator. So here is a really good time to show you what the LG refrigerator looks like without the wood paneling on it. If this had wood paneling on it, this whole refrigerator front would stick out another three inches off of this side and about an inch off of this side and it would take up more space. I kind of prefer the look of just the stainless steel like this. So, you know, it's your own choice here, but in the beacon we have, it's got the wood on it and I kind of wish it didn't. Really, really nice woodwork. I mean, this is like Mastercraft woodwork. It's just, you don't see this level of woodwork in hardly any unit, regardless of the price range, unless you start getting up to those really, really expensive Class A diesel pushers. This has three air conditioning units. They're all whisper quiet, and they are all ducted with a larger return air duct than the duct that actually blows everything out because they want to pull more air in and then squeeze the air out to give you more pressure. Coming down the steps, it has essentially two love seats and a theater seat right here. These are all Franklin furniture, which you guys have probably heard me rant and rave about the comfort of Franklin furniture. Really, really nice. It's all residential too. Up here you can see the valances. Again, I'm not a big fan of this color. I don't know if you guys are. Please let me know. Do you love this color? Do you hate it? Do you, you know, not really care? I do not like this color, to be honest. I really wish they would have gone with like a dark ebony or a white linen or even that really cool neutral color that they put in the beacon that we have. But there's definitely a lot of woodwork in here and a lot of craftsmanship went into it. So I can definitely say that just because you get a different color doesn't mean the craftsmanship is any less. 
some nice areas here to put your drink usb ports power ports these are both going to convert into beds as well so you can sleep a lot of people out here in the living room area nice wide view panoramic fireplace your stereos under here furion sound bar nice tv mounted above nice upgraded crown molding throughout coming here you're going to have two really really good size storage areas you know a lot of folks need a place for you know brooms things like swiffers things like that really really thoughtful and they've given you a tremendous amount of space for it now we're going to go into the main bathroom here the only bathroom double vanity really big medicine cabinets check this out i mean the medicine cabinets in here are crazy large i mean i really don't know how to describe them other than that Again, lots of countertop space next to these dual basin sinks. Tons and tons of countertops, lots of storage, lots of drawers. I mean, this is a residential bathroom. You have your bidet right there. Really nice porcelain foot flush toilet. You have towel holders here. I can't emphasize enough how some manufacturers don't put this here and it's really lacking when you just miss something so obvious. So having a bathrobe holder, towel holder is really nice. One piece fiberglass shower with a really nice flip out seat. And in terms of repairing one of these, you guys know that we had to get ours repaired, right? So they sent a crew out. It looks just like it did if there was no damage to it. And it just absolutely was easy enough for them to fix. Now, if there's something major, I don't know what the process would be, but you'd probably have to fix it similar to like fixing a boat hull or something. But yeah, they sent somebody out to fix it. Took them about an hour lots of storage in here as well really nice okay let's step up into the main bedroom all right so this reminds me very much of the beacon that we have really really cool how they've done some things one thing you don't notice that they've done is that they've lowered the bed i think it's three or four inches lower than your traditional bed why because it's so easy to get on and off typically you have to worm your way around the side to cr climb onto the bed but in the case of this you don't you just crawl right onto it it's so so convenient to lower the bed and i'm surprised you're the only manufacturer that's thought of this Really nice headboard, super tall slides. You're never gonna hit your head on those slides, I don't imagine, unless you're jumping up and down on the bed. You have your spider controls right here. If you didn't see it in the Beacon video that I've done, these are all battery powered. So these are really cool. So you turn everything off and on through here and you touch the panel to turn it on. Um, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with these. They're definitely an upgrade, definitely something you typically see in like big expensive class A diesel pushers. The biggest challenge with this is you have so many buttons on a small switch that until you press a button, it's not backlit. I guess it's nice they give you a blank one here to press. And you really don't know what you're turning on until you turn the lights to these on. Nice wardrobe storage at the end. TV's already mounted in place. You have your AC system up here as well. Beautiful, beautiful trimmed out closet. This closet looks almost identical to the one we have in the Beacon. And you have a place for your washer and dryer to install right here. You would have to take this shelf out if you are gonna install washer and dryer in this unit though. A lot of room here at the end of the bed too, and that's because they put a full extension slide here. So because of that, check out all the space you have here. Plenty of space at the end of the bed. Overall, this is just a absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fifth wheel. And I love the fact that almost all the major elements that make the Beacon such a beautiful fifth wheel are still kept in the Volano. So you can easily get a Volano at a significantly lower price than a Beacon, and you are gonna have just a gorgeous unit. The only thing you're really missing, in my opinion, besides you know a few things here and there, would be the lack of a full body paint job. And the MSRP on this specific unit is 120,000. Like I said, I do not know what the actual sales price would be, but just to compare MSRP, the MSRP in the beacon we have is 144,000. So it's $24,000 more than this, which means you could conceivably say that when everything's said and done, this is gonna be significantly less expensive than a beacon. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.